This is Cosmos. I'm about to give you the exact theory of everything. You can forget the search for the theory of everything because I have the theory of everything. String theory is incorrect. It has no significance to the real theory of everything. To begin with, we talk about how the universe began. The universe, according to what we have a lot of theory, the Big Bang Theory, a lot of different uh, ideas uh, about pulses. Well, ultimately, the theory of everything is based on infinity. Infinity is an invisible force. It is the invisible force that is inside of everything and outside of everything. Because of that, it absorbs everything instantly. It is a force that definitely, definitely exists. You can see a physical idea. It, even though infinity is invisible, that's why particle theory, as far as particles, when you smash atoms, you, 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 you discover that you, you can see uh, uh, particles go into an, an invisible state and, 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 and reappear. The bottom line to the whole concept and, and the fact that infinity is a force of its own, infinity the way to understand the beginning of the universe is that what happened was celestial energy pulsed out of infinity because infinity is contains the smallest it, particles, the smallest which uh, the smallest particle in, in, in the universe is infinity. The largest element in, in, in uh, space is infinity. To give you a, a complete understanding of what I'm talking about. To break it down, it's a complex, of course, but to, to simplify what I'm talking about is the fact that when ex ex accelerators smash atoms, you notice you come up with different uh, types of uh, particles that, that occur from those different accelerations of, of, of energy. The bottom line is scientists will never be able to find the smallest particle because the smallest particle is infinity. In order to get there, you have to be able to accelerate to the highest speed. What is the highest speed? We talk about speeds of uh, speed of light, and then we talk about potential speeds of warp speeds. Nowhere near infinity. Infinity is the fastest speed. It is the fastest speed that you can reach. It is the instant force. Because it's an invisible force, and it can be invisible. It can be visible when you put two mirrors in front of each other. You can see example of infinity because you see whatever object you put in front of the mirror, the two mirrors. It, they go to infinity because you see that object in the, inside one mirror, inside another mirror, inside another mirror. And anybody with common sense know that never ends. So you see infinity is a true existence. So it is powerful. It absorbs everything. Everything is absorbed by infinity. Also, infinity is inside of everything. Every particle, no matter what particle, how small a particle is, infinity is inside of it. Okay? And, and then w w every every matter, all matter is outside of this particular spectrum. In other words, just to give it to you, uh, in other words, infinity is outside of everything and inside of everything, basically. Infinity is the invisible force that makes up the theory of everything because it is the ultimate force. It is the one without a second. Understand that infinity has no second. There's no second number to infinity. You cannot come close to infinity. There's no point. You can only be a part of infinity, okay? And like I said, infinity is a force because the beginning of what we call the beginning of our universe, which infinity, there's never any beginning. As there are all kinds of beginnings when we, we calculate it from our point of view, from our spectrum, because infinity is causing all kinds of intervals all the time. Every, every millisecond, there's some universe being exploded from, from the, the, the point of infinite, infant, infinitesimal. In other words, what we, we're looking for is Big Bang Theory, where you, when you see black holes, you notice the stars can collapse, and, and, and when the star collapses, it causes uh, dwarf star sizes. Uh, I'll get into the details on that, and this is going to explain why infinity is the theory of everything, and why in order e, e equals mc squared, in order to, to, to get to that point, you got to accelerate to infinity because infinity is the force that created everything. And I'll, I'll give you more details uh, in, in uh, my next statement.
okay to begin with parallel universes do exist they are infinite parallel universes you can base uh, the, the understanding of this is that infinity has infinite frequencies uh, because of infinite frequencies we talk about the electromagnetic spectrum uh, the point is uh, you have infinite frequencies it, the parallel universes exist almost relative to what radio frequency if you notice uh, different signals we can have more than one television uh, signal in the atmosphere they are invisible you you can't in other words you tune into uh, uh, one channel you you pick up that channel or, or visual things like television you, you got a lot of different television in a 360 degree spectrum but they don't clash with each other they're on different planes put it like that just like the universes the infinite universes the infinity controls those planes that's why those universes exist I'll explain the elements associated with that that's why infinity is the theory of everything okay uh, here's an example of, of uh, parallel universes okay you have a parallel we have a parallel universe of dark matter and we have a parallel universe of light which is celestial energy those two parallel uh, universes are the post point where uh, scientists are trying to figure out uh, whether there's a how did the, uh, this the big big bang happen well anyway from where we have we are in a plane of the dark matter spectrum where celestial energy are pulsing different in different points that's why you see the stars the celestial energy and they pulse from infinity the infinite point on the other side of the universe which is the 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 the, the celestial uh, there's an infinite light universe where celestial energy has stars are black holes in 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 our parallel universe the stars are black holes okay in the other parallel universe to us if you notice we see more dark matter in here and we see celestial bodies as stars okay in the parallel universe to this is a universe of pure light with the stars there are black holes and the, and the spiral galaxy are black hole spiral the, they make up the spiral galaxies the black hole uh, points in that parallel universe to our universe that's why we have pulses that created our universe from the celestial universe which is pure light with with different black holes making up stars and, and galaxies over there that the pulses come from there from infinity because these infinite points are where we have the infinite points on the black the dark matter side which is where we exist and then on the light matter side there are, in, in infinity there are infinite points there are intro points from each parallel universe infinity is the controller that is the point from there and I'll get into more in the next tape remember this everything in space-time no matter how small or large is in the center of infinity